Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of Cars and Cameras. Our friends Brian, Connor, and Jacob invited us out to the dyno to see how much power our 550cc Cozy Coupe will make. We've read online it could make anywhere from 38 to 50 horsepower, and plus we have uh, four flat slide carburetors and a custom exhaust as well. So I'm very interested to see what kind of power it's going to put down. But first we have to talk about our sponsor for today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Are you tired of repetitive cartoony mobile games? Raid Shadow Legends is an immersive fantasy RPG and it has the fix. There are tons of game modes to battle through. Campaign, dungeons, clan wars, and more with beautifully animated graphics, epic boss fights, all while you're collecting and upgrading champions, armor, skills, and more. Download now to join the highly anticipated battle pass. Season 1 is live and you can win awesome rewards, including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. I was totally blown away by the console level graphics, limitless upgradability, and deep storyline this RPG delivers. And best of all, it's completely free to play on mobile and desktop. Raid Shadow Legends is played by millions worldwide. Join in the action by clicking on the special link in the video description and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of your new player program to start your journey. Download now and join the Cars and Cameras clan before it gets full. Good luck out there everybody, be sure to download Raid Shadow Legends and we will see you at the dyno. No, I'm lying to you. He said he was almost done, so I texted him. It already made 68 to the tire, man. <laughs> Ike, what's your guess? To the tire, to what's the it tire? gonna make? 30. Brian, what's it gonna... 30? <laughs> Have a little more faith. Well, I mean, I, I just want to be pleasantly surprised and not let down. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Brian, what's the number, man? I'm gonna go with 42. 42, that's safe. Connor? 46. 46. Jacob? I'm gonna go 38. All right. I don't, I don't like, I don't like any of these, so. All right, well, what's your guess? I'm gonna be optimistic and say 50. 68? One. Signal. So I want you to just start it up and pick a gear and let's get a little bit of wheel speed and make sure we're, we're stable, good. we're not twitchy or All anything right. good, before we do a full, you know, we're not a full, but a 6,000 RPM pull at least. So. Yeah, I'd hate to have a 6,000 RPM launch off this thing. Yeah, I don't want you to tear up my fan. I don't want the fan to tear this thing up. <laughs> what about me? All you right, have a twin special. brother. I'm ready. Okay, so our first pull is from 2,000 to 6,000 RPM, right guys? Oh yeah. No one can hear. These are good uh, earmuffs. What? <laughs>
fast. I think I need to go to fourth gear this time. Go for it. I was watching the number and we were looking at like, it was like 15, 1600 RPMs and I'd see like a 22 or something like that. So I think, right. I think that's why we're seeing that fluctuation is we've got a, we still got an RPM issue and it could be, it could be points. It could be the inductive pickup. I know the last time we had a broke magnet. So that was the whole issue we had the first okay. time. Okay, well, uh, maybe we ought to go ahead and- Do the uh, points. Do the points. Cause, uh, I think I think I left the uh, ignition on the last time we ran it and we killed the battery with the ignition on all night and it uh, it hasn't run right since. Probably bur it, it sounded to me it, like it was popping or breaking yeah, up a little so bit. So if, if things ain't working right we should probably go ahead and work on the points. Definitely. Let's try that and I'm going to yeah. look at my calibration for the... Okay. What, now what, what, what did we get? That was um, 32 and 48 foot pounds. The torque sounds awesome. So I was hiding behind a plate and I was terrified. I'm sure you were probably even yeah, more I'm scared. Yeah, I'm sitting on this thing. <laughs> yeah. So is it gonna run better, man? Uh, all of a sudden I have my doubts, but we'll, we'll see. All we can do is give another go. We'll see what kind of RPM signal we're getting. Okay. If we can just hold a steady speed, say like three grand. Sounds good. Fan, no fan. Look how Jacob's well, hiding behind the post. Yeah, we, you know I what? <laughs> I'm wondering if we have a spark plug fouling out. Yeah, it looked like you had a moment of enlightenment there. It, it, it wasn't running at like 3,000 RPM. It felt like it was running on two cylinders and then four, two, four, two, four. When we lose one spark plug, we lose, we two. lose two. Which would explain the graph. So. Yes, would explain that. Oh, that's a good point, dude. Would. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think we need spark plugs. Sure do. Look at that. Yeah, they're bad. A little wet. No, they're not wet, but... A little black. Look in there, there's something in there. Yeah, it's got like something growing on it. It's probably shorted out. I mean, down in... Dude, we got, we got like carbon buildup in there and it's probably jumping the uh, yeah. porcelain. So it looks like it has like little, yeah. little teeth. Yeah. So we need spark plugs. We have new spark plugs. We have new points. Let's give this another go. Three to nine thousand again. Three to eight thousand. Three to nine. Is what we have said right now. Three to nine.
I guess a week ago or so, maybe a little more, we left the ignition on overnight and it doesn't quite seem to be running the same way. It, Cause it was running as smooth as butter when you cranked it up. It was running on all four cylinders. It feels like it's running on like three cylinders. It's not running smooth uh, anymore. And it seemed like at higher RPMs before it was singing a lot more. Yeah. And now, now it's, it's like two up. and four and two and four. Yeah. So, and we just put points in it. We just put plugs in it. So, you know, coils is kind of. Kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Sorry. So, no, I mean, we just put coils in it. Thankfully, they're not very expensive. So we can just get some more and hope that, that fixes it. But Brian, what was the final uh, number, man? Oh, well, I just cleared. The top speed was 63. 63 miles per hour. And I think we were... The last run there was like 63 foot pounds and like 43 horsepower. That's pretty good. Right? Was that what it was? 40, 30, it was 34, 34. Oh, 34. I was going to say 43. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that, that doesn't sound right. But, okay, so it's probably the 38 horsepower engine. Yeah. And it's making that power to the tire. But the torque is pretty pretty impressive. Obviously. Yeah, the torque is very, yeah. very impressive. If it wasn't breaking up, though, the numbers would be different. Definitely, yeah. So... It may, make, it may make more horsepower. It, like it yeah. could make more horsepower. I'm pretty sure it probably makes more horsepower than what it's saying, but we're there's a problem. We gotta figure it out. Yeah. Plus, like, we haven't even tried tuning the carburetors. No, but uh, I think we got something else going on other than the carburetor. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Brian, what's the final number? Okay, so 33 horsepower and 56 foot pounds of torque. That's an impressive torque number, and it's all to the tire too. So this yeah. thing's probably making, yeah, 60, 60 right. foot pounds. Right. Maybe it is that 50 horse motor that they were saying. It's obviously, like I said, making 33. Um, we're having some ignition problems. And breaking up, doing so, it right. Yeah, right. so we get our ignition figured out, and we can maybe tune our carburetors, and, and who knows. So I'd say our experience at the dyno this time was mixed success. I mean, we were able to get 56 foot-pounds peak and 34 peak horsepower. So it looks like we have the 38 horsepower engine, but I mean, it really, it's just a number. It's very fast, very scary, and it'll spin the tires in any gear. So our dyno graph itself is a little ugly, partially because of the analog RPM pickup that we used, and then also partially because we're having ignition problems at high RPM. Or we think. At least that's we what think. it looks like. Yeah, that's right. So um, we're ordering another set of coils for it, and because the key was left on overnight and we could have burned up the coils. Um, and so between that and maybe doing some fine tuning on the jetting on the carburetors, because we know uh, that we're pretty rich on a Two cylinders. Two cylinders, yeah, at least. Um, yeah. That, yeah, there is definitely some room for improvement. So we're going to do all those things. We might head back to the dyno. Uh, we got to give a shout out to Brian, Jacob, and Connor for having us out there last night. Um, it's always a pleasure uh, to hang out with those guys. We'll work it out. We'll get more out of it. Yeah, totally. And it's already like a screamer. It's so much fun as it is. It's yeah. just, it was just concerning. You were getting higher and higher in RPM, and you could hear it like going between two and four cylinders. Yeah. That was scary. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed uh, the video today, and subscribe to Cars and Cameras to uh, stay in touch with our future builds. Help fund those future projects by picking up some stickers or some shirts or hats at cars-cameras.com. Uh, of course, check us out in between videos for sneak peeks on what we're up to on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Lead us out, Ike. Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine.